Hey, what's up, people of God? I pray that you're continuing to persevere, man. Uh, this is another day we've been uh, that we've been blessed to experience. This is Sunday, man, a great day that God has made for us, and that's just something to be thankful for because someone did not experience what you experienced today, and so it's a blessing, man. Uh, welcome to the Persevering Word, man. I pray that this Word is going to bless you in a unique way. It's all about growing. It's all about developing into the men and women that God has predestined for us to be. And so I'm still on the teaching series, A Tough Road. You know, I've dealt with preparation, pre being prepared on this tough road. I dealt with trusting, trusting God on this tough road. But now I'm going to deal with sacrifice on this tough road because we have to sacrifice. Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice, and we have to make some sacrifices as well. You know, we do that. You know, we make sacrifices for our children. We make sacrifices sacrifices for our job but are we making the ultimate sacrifice for God who, who the person that sacrifices for us when we don't even deserve it and that's what we have to do man if we're going to go to a next place in God if we're going to be where God wants us to be we have to make some sacrifices and a part of being a part of making sacrifices is, is you know is cutting some things off cutting some people off cutting some habits off cutting some ways off God requires to sacrifice from his people, man, and that and, and that's something that we have to that we should look forward to instead of looking at it as it's, as if it's something that we should not do. And so as I go into the book of Romans chapter number 12 and 1, a familiar passage of scripture, I'm reading from the New Living Translation today. If you want to follow me, it says, "And so dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you." Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. He says, I'm pleading with you because he says, I want you. God says, I want you. I'm not going to force you to do anything because that's, that's not what re relationship is about. God says, I want you to want me. And when you do that, God says, I'm going to do something unique with you. He says, I'm going to separate you. That word holy means to be separate. And God says, I'm going to separate you from the habits. I'm going to separate, separate you from the ways. I'm going to separate you from the attitude. I'm going to separate you from people so I can do something unique in you. You see, oftentimes God can't do something unique in us because we still want to hang around the same people. We still want to do the same thing. And therefore, we are missing that holy, that holy activity of God. And so God says, I'm pleading with you, man. It's almost to say as if he's begging because he said, man, I got something great for you, but I can't get there until you give me a sacrifice. I can't take you there until you sacrifice. And that's really what it's about. God says, man, I want to do something magnificent with you, man of God. I want to do something great with you, woman of God, but I need you to sacrifice. Stop looking at everybody else and start keeping your eyes on me. Because he says, if you, if you present your body to me, God wants you, man. God, don't, God, God can care less about uh, your money. God can care less about your job. God can care less about uh, the external things that you, that you deem as important. God says, man, I want you. And when you give me you, watch what I not only do to you, but also your surroundings. And it takes a sacrifice to do that. You know, we don't want to give up anything, but we want everything. Uh, it, does, it doesn't work like that. We have to be willing to give it up for him. And when we give it up for him, we serve, we serve a God that, we, that will replenish. We serve a God that will restore. And as a matter of fact, God is getting ready to restore some things in your life if you're willing to give yourself to him. It's a sacrifice, man. Everyone has to do it. I have to do it. Uh, whomever that loves God must do it. But I tell you what, when you sacrifice for him, man, he's going to put you in. He's going to bless you. And he's going to take you to places that you never thought you would be. That's from your mind, and that's also your body, and that's also your, that's also your, your surroundings as well. Trust God, man, and I guarantee you, he will never let you down, man. I'm going to talk to you soon, man. I pray that this word has been a blessing to you. I'm praying for you. Pray for me, and remember, we're going to continue to persevere through this thing together, man. I love you. Peace in Jesus always, man, and let's keep persevering. Talk to you soon.